In this presentation, we will learn how to use size of operator with arrays. So let's get started. Let me ask you one question. How many elements are there in this array? After taking two or three minutes, you can answer this question, right? But let me apply the same question to this array as well. Can you answer this? How many elements are there in this array? I know, I know, you are angry on me, right? But don't worry, size of operator is here to rescue. With the help of this sentence, you would be able to calculate how many elements are there in that array and any array. Okay? You just have to specify the name of the array inside size of operator. And you also have to specify name of array along with square brackets and the index inside the size of operator. And then you have to divide both. Okay? I can explain this why this works. But in order to explain this, I am going to divide this sentence into two parts. This is going to be the first part and this is going to be the second part. Okay? Let me explain the first part and then the second part and then I will combine both of them together in order to understand why this works. Okay? Let me explain the first part to you. Size of name of array. Suppose we have an array like this and there are total 10 elements in this array. What is the size of this array? There are total 10 integers, right? And I'm assuming that each integer requires 4 bytes. Then we can easily calculate the size of this array by multiplying 4 with 10. It gives me 40 bytes. We already know size of operator gives you the size in bytes. And as we are assuming that each integer requires 4 bytes, and there are total 10 integers in this array, therefore the size of this array is going to be 4 into 10, which is equals to 40 bytes. Right? So, this is clear. Let me explain the second part to you. Size of name of array along with square brackets and the index. What does it really mean? I'm taking the same array which consists of 10 elements. What is the meaning of size of A0? A0 means first element, right? And because it is an integer and we are assuming size of this integer is 4 bytes, therefore we know size of this element will be 4 bytes, right? So the second part of this sentence is also clear. Size of A we already know it is 40 bytes in this case. And size of A0 is 4 bytes. In order to calculate how many elements are there in this array, we need to divide 40 by 4, which gives me 10, which is the correct answer. But why this works? In order to calculate size of whole array, we need to multiply size of one array element with number of elements. Isn't that so? If we want to calculate number of elements, we need to divide size of whole array by size of one array element. And that is what we are doing here, right? Size of name of array means size of whole array. And size of name of array with square brackets and the index means size of one array element. And you are dividing both of them in order to calculate the number of elements. For the sake of simplicity, I am mentioning 0 over here. You can mention 1, 2, 3, 4. It is up to you. And why the index doesn't matter? Because we just want to know size of one element. And it can be any element of the array. But better is to choose 0. Now with the help of the code, let's see whether this sentence helps us in calculating the number of elements or not. Here you can see the array that we have seen in the first slide, right? With the help of this printf function, we want to print the number of elements that are contained in this array. And we can calculate the number of elements with the help of this sentence. Size of A divided by size of A0. Okay? Let's execute this code now. Okay, there are total 152 elements in this array. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.